Om Shanti, today is your 145th day of your Godly blessing and in today's blessing, God, the Father, wants us to realize that the only method to be connected to Him or be powerful again is to be soul conscious and for that one has to learn the method of staying along with everything around us. That means all the physical things that you see around you, all the accomplishments of the world that you are achieving in this life, whether it be financial or whether it be any kind of laurels in your life, but still be detached from them and not identify yourself with those things. So let's see what Baba wants us to do and how he wants us to surrender those weaknesses within us. So Baba says in today's blessing, may you surrender yourself by sacrificing all awareness of your body and become yog yukt Yoga means to be connected to God and free from bondage. So what kind of sacrifice does he wants us to do? He says, be in this world, be with your family, be with everything around you. Earn, eat, sleep, wear clothes, do everything. But be totally detached from identifying yourself with those things around you or having any kind of ego with those things around you. And that's the only method to be connected to God because God himself is not identifying himself ever because he's always the purest of all with any of these worldly things. He doesn't come into birth and death and that's one of the reasons that he's completely pure. But we souls, we his children, when we come onto this earth, we get this physical body and we start identifying ourselves with this physical body and the physical things around us and we think that that is what we are or that is what people recognize us as and that's where the complete layer of impurity starts touching us. So God says, consider yourself to be a soul, be soul conscious. So let's go into more details. Baba says, every action of those who sacrifice the awareness of their bodies become a mirror, mirror to the world, mirror to the family, mirror to the people around you. Why? Because in this world, people are seeing everybody suffer from lust, greed, ego, jealousy and everything else. The atmosphere of the world is not so pure. And like Baba said in previous Vardhan also that you be like a star amongst common people who are always after worldly things. So be that shining star. So Baba wants us to do the same thing. And that can only happen when we sacrifice the awareness of our bodies. That means we stop identifying ourselves with this physical world. We are a soul. We are not of this world. We are in this world, but not of this world. So how do I be like that? Like being in a hotel, but not owning the hotel. That's what you do. So you use the things, but you don't identify yourself with the things in that hotel room. You don't say this is mine or that is mine. Similarly over here, these things are not mine. I'm just here as a caretaker and this is the world of God and God has sent me on this world plane to play my act, but by not getting attached to things and people and any identity as such, which pulls my mind down into impurity in which I have conflicts with other people or which leads me to greed or jealousy or any other kind of impurity. So Baba says, every action of those who sacrifice their awareness of their bodies becomes a mirror. When something is sacrificed, that thing is then no longer considered to be yours. So once we sacrifice body consciousness, if we keep on taking it back, we get body conscious, we get soul conscious. If we keep on fluctuating between these two things, then our power will be reduced. Even though this is the journey in which one goes through this journey, but the focus should be on removing complete body consciousness, which we have attained through many births of practicing that we are a body. But now God says in this last birth, start practicing that you are a soul and not this body. So the Baba says, by sacrificing the awareness of your body, when the feeling of mine is finished, this is mine, that is mine, he is mine, she is mine. Sorry, nobody is yours. Nobody is a permanent entity in your life or anything in your life or my life. So that's what Baba, Baba says. This is called total surrender. But when we forget this, then we surrender onto the weaknesses within us. Could be lust, anger, greed, ego, jealousy, hatred, and many other things. So God says this is the fight within you. Those who surrender themselves in this way remain constantly yoga yukt. So when we are detached from these worldly entitlements or these worldly identities, that's the only method to be connected to God. So until or unless I consider myself or stabilize myself as a soul, and not a body, only then either soul can be connected to the Supreme Soul who is also bodiless. So his thoughts or her thoughts, whatsoever you want to call him or her, 
are completely bodiless thoughts no greed no ego no jealousy completely pure so for that stage of mind to appear or your to appear we have to forget that we are a physical body that i am a male or a female i am from this religion or that religion it has to be completely forgotten so as to be connected to the purest form of the supreme being so then baba says that's known as yog yukt only then can you be connected to him and free from bondage bondage of what thoughts of mine and this is mine that is mine and i am so and so or i have accomplished so and so things in my life or having any kind of ego of all those things so humility is to be imbibed that is another bondage if you don't imbibe humility the bondage is there of bodily things and we are entangled into our own web so then baba says every thought and action of theirs are yukti yukt yukti yukt means that you use wisdom to think to speak and also to act in front of others and your own life that is yukti yukti means diplomatically diplomacy doesn't mean that you do certain things in which you only get the benefit and other people don't diplomacy over here is the spiritual diplomacy where you don't think body consciousness you don't think greed ego jealousy and all those thoughts you think spirituality or spiritual thoughts and that is the purest form of diplomacy which god talks about so i leave you with this beautiful vartan think about it contemplate about it and find out how much of body consciousness you still have within you take care have a blessed day om shanti Thank you.